I want to talk to you today about why training for weight loss is just a tragic idea. So, one of the main reasons that just training for the very goal of weight loss is, is savage is because you don't have any focus. So, before, if you are going to train for weight loss, quantify the number. How much do you want to lose? And don't give yourself like a specific target. So, don't say, I want to lose. 11.46 pounds be a bit more realistic put yourself between anywhere from say like 6 to 12 pounds now there's been research to show that from um, a mindset perspective this is a lot more beneficial because sometimes you wake up and when you're in one of those moods and you just like screw it you can aim for the lower number the more achievable number but then you have, you sometimes have days when you wake up and you just want to go like full hero um, and on those days, they're the days when you're aiming for the £12 or the higher figure. So, by giving yourself um, a, a wider variety um, to aim for, you can actually achieve more in the long run. Um, and it's a little bit more sustainable as well. Whereas, if you just go, right, I want to lose one and a half stones. Um, and again, time frame is another thing. You need to sit down and actually think logically. Um, and be pragmatic about how long it's going to take you to lose that weight. Um, obviously, that depends on your unique situation, like how much weight, how big you are, etc., etc. Anyway, so if you're just going to train for weight loss, what you really mean is you're training to lose fat. No one just wants to lose necessarily quote unquote weight. Um, this is just an idea that's being kind of twisted in the media. If you want to lose weight, you can just go and sit in the sauna for six hours. Trust me, you've got to come out of there six pound lighter at least. Um, again, but just losing quote unquote weight isn't necessarily healthy. You look at combat sport athletes, um, boxers, MMA fighters. When we step on um, on those scales, we want to get down to that, that weight. You want to be at that weight for the minimum amount of time possible. So that's when you look at things like dehydration um, and you get people like sitting in saunas, obviously water loading, um, Epsom salt baths, like boiling themselves in baths, things like that. So realistically, you're not just looking for weight loss. Just the general public, you're looking for fat loss. You want to burn fat. You, when you, when you can lose weight and not look any better. Whereas when you lose fat, that's when your abs start coming out, you get all the little lines on your body, your, your physique's improving. So remember, when you're actually talking about weight loss, most of the time you're, you're looking at fat loss because fat loss is healthier, not just weight. You can just cut your leg off if you really want to lose, say, like 10 kilo. So now ways to lose weight. So don't just hammer shitloads of cardio. Um, this is one thing you see quite a lot is people get up, go to the gym before work and they'll just sit on a cross train for 45 minutes um, and then they wonder why they're not really losing weight in the long run. And that's because what you're doing when you're just doing lots of say fasted cardio, because that's quite trendy now as well, um, is what you're doing is catabolizing muscles. So you're actually burning a lot of muscle um, because your body will utilize aminos, which is like the proteins. To, for energy, um, just like it will fat, just like it will carbohydrates. But realistically, your body will also um, cannibalize, cannibalize your, what you call it, your muscle mass. And that's what you don't want. If you want to lose weight and you want to lose fat, what you need to do is build muscle. Muscle is organic tissue. So what this means is it requires energy to stay alive. And therefore, the more muscle mass that you have, the more your um, basal metabolic rate or your metabolism um, increases. So if you have more muscle, you're gonna have a higher metabolism. Because like I say, your muscles require energy, so they're constantly burning through calories to stay alive. Furthermore, increasing your muscle mass gives your body that sculpted physique that you're looking for. So when you have actual muscle mass, that's what gives you the pecs for females, gives you the bum, gives you the nice abs. Whereas if you don't build up any muscle and you just like literally lose all your fat, you just become scrawny. Um, so what you wanna do is actually build a nice athletic figure or whichever sort of figure that you desire, 
whether that's say a bodybuilder's physique, an athlete's physique, um, for ladies you want that sort of nice hourglass or dancer's look, that requires muscle. Ladies, you're not going to build a shit ton of muscle um, just by doing things like weights and resistance training. Honestly, for guys to, to build as much muscle as they have, it takes years and years and years and also a lot and a lot of testosterone. Unless you start shooting up test, um, testosterone, sorry, you're not going to get bulky. Trust me, you'll just get that really nice sort of hourglass figure. You look at someone like Beyonce, she'll do loads of resistance work, honestly. Um, she's got an amazing physique. Um, like you look at like female gymna gymnasts, they do a lot of resistance work. Again, by what you're to do is you want to sculpt your body so that when you do lose that fat on the outside, you're gonna literally squeeze and just have a beautiful figure. So the ways now to build that is doing resistance training. You wanna focus on obviously your big compounds, lifts, your squats, deadlifts. Presses, rows, pull-ups. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think I said, well, I haven't got written down, so I don't know. Um, so yeah, you want to you make sure you're focusing on those. Obviously, you want to be in that sort of 8 to 12 rep range, doing like, say, 3 to 4 sets. This is all dependent on yourself, but like I'd say, I just focus mainly on those. And it, with regards to your breakdown, your split, that depends on how many times you can go to the gym. If you're gonna to go to the gym twice a week, then I'd just say do two full body workouts. But realistically, you should be aiming for a minimum of three times a week. Um, and that is where you're gonna start seeing the most bang for your buck. Um, I say minimum, like three times a week is, is a, good, a good number for general pop. Um, and then on top of that, just all the accessory lifts, if there's anything that you want to, to build up, so for guys you want to build up your arms and stuff, then obviously working more bicep, tricep work, incorporate those, but make sure you focus on your big compound lifts, because they're going to work the majority of your muscle groups, um, and like I say, give you the biggest bang for your buck. Also, do cardio. I, I, I do cardio, boxing's cardio. I do a lot of running, swimming, cycling, everything. I'm not saying, I'm not, I have nothing against cardio. What I'm saying is, if you're only doing cardio as a way to lose weight, then you're just kind of spinning your wheels in the mud. It'll work for a little bit, but then like I say, you're just gonna keep catabolizing your muscle tissue. You're not really gonna have any, any progress down the line. There's no, there's no sort of sustainable method there. Whereas if you can build up more muscle mass, you're gonna increase your, your well improve, sorry, your physique. Um, and like I say, you're just gonna get all around better results. You're gonna feel better, look better, better naked. But like I said, there's a lot of health benefits associated with cardio. Um, so I'd definitely say do them, but don't just sit there and hammer out loads and loads and loads of it. You're not Mo Farah, right? you're not gonna run like, however many miles, so what's the point? Unless you're training for a marathon, do you know what I mean? Then you gotta do it. Or an Ironman, like this idiot. But anyway, do what you gotta do. Get in great shape. Enjoy the process. That is one of the biggest things of all of this, is enjoying the process. No one enjoys just sitting there, just marching away on their fucking cross trainer in the morning. It is soul destroying. Trust me, we've, all, we've been there. I've had to do it like, uh, this time of the year, not this time of the year, but this time of a training camp, like the last few weeks, I always have to do a little bit more just to make sure that I'm on way, to make sure I look bang when I get in the ring. Do you know what I mean? It's just one of those things. Um, there's only so much fucking Great British Bake Off you can watch on your iPad without getting drained out by it. Um, so like I say, enjoy the process. And that's the thing with lifting weights. When you see your, your numbers start increasing, um, it becomes a bit more enjoyable. You get into it, you get that quote unquote, you get the, the knack for it, is it always called? Something like that. But yeah, you can enjoy that process more and you can give yourself process orientated goals.